gonna be making some apple donuts. Since they are pretty seasonal, right now would be a perfect time to use them up. And since I live so close to Apple Hill, I'm always going to get some apples or apple donuts from there. So I thought, why not try to make my own? As always, the recipe will be down below. Now let's get started on this. We're gonna start by combining our dry ingredients. So add your flour, baking powder, baking soda, cinnamon, and your nutmeg into your dry and whisk this together, combining it all well. And then we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna get our melted butter. Make sure it's cooled to room temperature. And then add in two eggs to this. Whisk this all together and combine it well. And then we're gonna add our sugar to this, whisk that all well together, and then pour in your buttermilk. Whisk that and combine it well. And then we're gonna add our applesauce to this as well. Combine well and whisk that together. Get your spatula, make sure you scrape your bowl. And then we're gonna mix in our apples. So I got one about the size of my hand. Cut it up and added this to the mixture, combined it well. And then we're gonna add that flour mixture a quarter at a time. Pour it in, fold this flour in well, and then do a second part. Add in a third of it, combine well, and this is where it will start to get pretty thick. The apples will add moisture to this as well. And then add in that last flour portion, combine it all well. And then you're gonna want a piping bag to put all this in for easier control to put into your donut pan. As you can see here, I'm adding it to the piping bag. I have my donut pans. I just put a little bit of butter on them and then I started piping out the mixture into each one. Make sure you cut the hole big enough so the chunks of apples can come out as well. And now I did bake this in a little cake pan and you can also use this as a bread loaf since this is a thick mixture. You don't have to make this necessarily for donuts. It just will bake for a longer time. So then put these in the oven at 375 for about 12 minutes. It will vary on your oven. You can always check with a toothpick. And I also made some mini ones as well as you can see here and bake those for about eight minutes. Once they've baked, you can just place them onto a rack to let them completely cool. Here, I'm just taking them out of the pans. And then you're gonna want some sugar and cinnamon and some melted butter. I ended up just brushing on some melted butter under these so the sugar would hold on better. You're gonna wanna do one dip. So glaze your donuts with butter, dip them into the sugar mixture. And then once they had a little bit of time to just absorb some of that sugar, you can do a double dunk. And here's our donuts. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a suggestion, put it in the comments down below. If you want to see pictures of everything I make, I do post on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And all those links are down below. If you enjoy my content and want to keep up to date with what I post, hit the subscribe button as well. Until next time, stay sweet.